Function X. Many of you may not be familiar with that name, but what about Pundi X? Well, I'm sure some of the OGs will recognize it because Pundi X has been in the crypto space for quite some time, and they just happen to also develop Function X. If you're new to it, let me give you a little bit of background. Pundi X was founded in 2017 by Zach Chia, Danny Lim, and Pete Horn in Jakarta. Their goal was to overcome the limitations of big Bitcoin and make cryptocurrencies wildly usable in retail through a point of sale system. Initially, they developed the Pundi Pundi app, which enabled QR based payments. However, they later shifted the focus to align with the standards and vision of the DeFi sector. They utilize a contactless smart card called XParts and a mobile application called XWallet all powered by the Pundi X network and its architecture. The number of merchants collaborating with Pundi is continuously growing. So if the same team develop Function X, that is a green flag for me. Now, let's return to Function X. Function X allows developers to easily create customized blockchains and benefit from its speed and security. Function X is an ecosystem entirely built on and for the blockchain based on Cosmos Network SDK. Everything in Function X is freely decentralized and secure, designed to make it easy for developers and companies to build upon. You could be thinking, well, Jemmy, that's what all crypto projects claim to be decentralized and save the world in some way. That's because you haven't seen how practical Function X is and the potential use cases it offers. The ecosystem built around Function X is decentralized and operates autonomously, meaning no organization or individuals are required for supervision. They aren't just building a blockchain, they're creating an ecosystem consisting of five key components. At the core of the Function X ecosystem is Affix Core, which serves as the public blockchain. It enables inter-blockchain communication, IBC, to connect multiple blockchains like BNB and Ethereum. This core acts as a hub, connecting all devices on a local area network. So when a blockchain connects to the core via IBC, it gains access to all other blockchains connected to that core. In addition to the blockchain core, they're developing FXTP as a replacement for the centralized HTTP protocol, enhancing server functionality. They also have their own decentralized file storage solution called FunctionX IPFS, and their operating system is a modified version of Android but with complete decentralization. Even calls, browsers, apps, and messages are freely decentralized. And for managing digital assets within the FunctionX ecosystem, they provide the FX wallet. The name of the wallet is totally unpredictable, huh? So the FX token is a non-custodian wallet that supports private keys that is compatible with ELC20 tokens, Function X token, and a lot more. It allows users to buy or sell via RAM network, manage, transfer, and grow their digital assets using various steps, including DeFi protocols. This wallet also supports staking of FX token and Pundi X token and other tokens. It's available for both iOS and Android devices. However, some users, including myself, had difficulties downloading it from the App Store due to location restrictions. So I had to turn on my VPN and change the location of my app. App Store account. It might be a little bit harsher at the start, but once you've installed it, it works perfectly fine. The ecosystem is still growing in popularity, mainly because the FXTP protocol really helped users to exchange tokens from chain to chain. In terms of its tokenomics, the FX coin is a utility coin which employs a unique proof of service concept in generating new coins. POS involves rewarding service providers within the FX ecosystem for their activities. So now let's take a look at the allocation because it's very important to gauge if it is a fair project to outsiders. For the TGE alone, 
65% of the FX coins were dedicated to incentivizing token holders, which is great for the community. 15% was set aside for engineering and product promotion, and the remaining 20% has been allocated to the Ecosystem Genesis Fund. EGF. The EGF is to motivate and accelerate the growth of the Function X Networks ecosystem. Usage of it included 10% to consumers, 20% to developers, 20% to infrastructure service providers, 20% to financial service providers, and 30% to emergency breach reserve. In other words, the EGF is more for funding partnerships, exchanges, and attracting consumers for the development. The FX tokens plays many roles on the Function X network. In addition to being a governance tool, it's used to pay for services on the network. The project plans to introduce more products and features that will be powered by the FX token. Therefore, as the Function X ecosystem expands, the demand for FX token will also increase, which has a direct token value accrual. In terms of recent development, since July 2022, they have integrated EVM compatible chain. What it means is that it allows developers to easily move their Ethereum dApps to Function X, making them run smoothly with low fees and high security. It works through its integration of FX Core Gravity Bridge in the FX Wallet 2.0. You can now bridge tokens from Ethereum or other EVM enabled blockchains such as Polygon, BSD, and Tron to your EVM compatible Zero X address via FX Bridge. Function X also offers asset aggregation contracts that connect directly to Ethereum smart contracts. They provide new farming on multiple blockchains. So what does that do? It brings modern DeFi together with traditional finance in order to make crypto more accessible to more people. Also, Function X has been working hard to involve the community and promote decentralization. They have welcomed additional validators from the community and nonprofit organizations. They believe that everyone should have a say in the network's operation. It's always good to get more validators, hence each of them don't get too much power. Also, let's not forget about their efforts in El Salvador. Zach from Pundi X is proud to share that they donated 150 exports devices to merchants there. These devices make it easier for people to use cryptocurrencies in their everyday lives. This is something more down to earth and that's exactly what we need for the crypto space. And for those of you who have been following me on box mining and crypto gems before, you know that I love doing reviews on crypto hardware wallets. And Function X just happened to launch one called PX Card. Its UI is super user friendly. And if you want to see me doing a review on the card as well, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for our content. So, so far, it looks like Function X is really serious about bringing mass adoption to the crypto space. They share Pundi X vision of making buying crypto as easy as buying a bottle of water, but Function X focuses more on the crypto finance side of things. They have a complete ecosystem and a compatible team to achieve their goals. What I like the most is that they're still building even in this ultra crypto winter. It's a strong sign of the belief in the space Unlike those typical pump and dump projects, it really shows the dedication and resilience. However, it won't be an easy journey for Function X. They need to raise more awareness, especially considering that the value of the ethics tokens directly occurs. But anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts on Function X. Have any of you tried the FX wallet? If you have, please share your experience in the comments and I'm all ears. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out our video on the top seven DAX projects on Cosmos. And hey, if you enjoy our content, make sure you subscribe for more exciting stuff like this. Until then, see you next time.